Now, next up, we're going to find out what we can do to avoid getting rusty with age. A lot of talk these days is centered around our overall health and ways to age well. But I have heard every crazy thing, right, about you can about what you can do to improve your health, what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat. And I will tell you that now more than ever, there are so many (laughs) anti-aging products for like skin. Sure. Right. Oh, and, and, yeah. and and I was <laughs> talking with my girlfriend about this. Um, what was it? Last week. And we were saying, OK, so what do we need? Is it like the cream? Is it hydration? Is it about a serum? Is it a moisturizer? Is it an ointment? It, no, no. Re- yeah. And I'm being yeah. completely serious because there's so many products about that, about how do, how do you keep your face, your neck, your hands looking young? And because when we talk about health, and anti-aging products or even methods, I feel like the conversation tends to really center on the outside. A lot to do with skin, specifically, rather than what's happening within or on the inside. And we forget that sometimes, uh, you know, what's going on on the inside actually affects the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. have the same conversations well, as men? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not nearly as much anyway, but I But def- you also care about being young or yeah, young care looking, about right? being young and taking care of yourself. But you can definitely tell those people who have taken care of themselves on the inside right. and it manifests itself outwardly. Well, for sure. today we're speaking all things health and nutrition with health and nutrition expert Johnny, Dr. Johnny Bowden, about ways to improve our health and preventing the rusting within. And this really got my attention by lessening something called free radical damage. Welcome, Johnny. Hi, Lisa. This is such a pleasure to be on. And I was listening to the past part of the conversation and I'm just glowing inside because I wanted to start by saying I did a seminar 15 years ago called Beauty from the inside out. And it was just about what you're talking about. And I, I just think it's spectacular that you brought it up in terms of skincare because what happens on the skin is actually a wonderful model for what happens inside the body. Like when you said rusting from inside. So let me give you an example. Yeah. You cut up, a, you cut up an apple. You leave the apple slices out on the picnic table overnight. Yep. What happens to them? They turn brown. Yep. I, can, I actually have a better example because I've been doing a lot of TV spots where I use an avocado as a prop. And I cut that avocado up 15 minutes before the TV spot and it's brown by the time we get on camera. Yeah, it happens so, so fast. It happens so fast. So an avocado is an even better example. So what is that browning? It's called oxidative damage, which is free radical damage. It's precisely what you're talking about. It's what happens when these rogue molecules, which come from oxygen, they get loose and they start hitting on like every cell, on your DNA, on everything. And that's the browning that you visibly see on the avocado. Now go to skincare. Mm -hmm. What do we see on the skin when we're exposed to too much sun? And I'm a big fan of sun, by the way. I'm not, you know. Well, we need our vitamin D. We all know that. We need our vitamin D and we shouldn't be phobic (laughs) of the sun. But when we're in too much sun, what happens? It browns, it wrinkles, it it forms these little age spots that they used to call, my grandmother used to call age spots. That's the browning. That's the oxidative damage that's happening on the skin. That happens on an avocado. And guess what? It happens in your arteries. It happens in your cholesterol. It happens in your circulatory system. And that's the rusting from within. That, that rusting, that browning, the thing that happens to metal, if you rain on it and leave it out in your, you know, in your yard all night, it, it rusts. And that's what we don't want. And that's why the greatest anti-aging products, Mm -hmm. whether they are put on the skin or taken orally, are basically antioxidants. They are they are the lemon juice that you can spray on that on that avocado that will delay the browning. So and tell that, tell that, that yeah go ahead. Tell us where we can get these antioxidants. Where do we find okay, them? So, well, there's a couple things to say about them. There are many antioxidants in our diet. There are many. Yeah, we hear that a lot with the what are the antioxidant foods, right? Take a million of them every day. I mean, you've got to you've got to load up on them because this oxidative damage comes not just from well, oxygen alone would be enough of the source, right? Mm -hmm. But it also 
comes from of pesticides and it comes from toxins in the air and it comes from all the stuff we're exposed to. And by the way, when your antioxidant system is fighting off all these things you're taking in from food and from the environment, it doesn't have much time to work with the immune system. Hmm. It's depleting your immune It's like you have it in the police force all go for some emergency, you know, and now you have no police force left to do the rest of the town. So, so that's a very important part. Now, the one that people might not know about, the one that might be the big reveal for this, because we all know vitamin C. Yeah, right? I mean, right. that's why the lemon juice works. We know vitamin E. I hope we know selenium and zinc. These are parts you get in the diet. The master antioxidant, the one that is like, this has been the holy grail for nutritionists ever since I got into the field. Like, I don't even want to tell you how many decades ago. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's something called glutathione. And you'd say, well, where do I buy that? Well, that's the problem. That's the catch. The body makes it, but it, it makes it, and the pathways by which it makes it begin to lessen as we age. Yeah. And now you have less glutathione. So everyone, since I, I've been telling you, since I began in New York City over 20 years ago, has been looking for a good glutathione supplement. And for the most part, they don't work. They're, it's such a delicate molecule it gets broken down it doesn't get absorbed and there are some things that you can take like nac that i was i was recommending like crazy during covid because it's a huge immune system uh, supporter in the sense that it helps you make the fire but none of them really works all that well and there is now something that's working well so i do want to tell you about that it's and the biochemistry of it is very complicated but just let's say that we need a way to get glutathione factories working again in our body. And this product is called Continual G, and you can get it at continualg.com. Just look it up, C-O-N-T-I-N-U-A-L-G, and the G stands for glutathione. And what these guys did was they very ingeniously figured out how to make a molecule, which they named glycine, which is the precursor to glutathione. So when you give your body that glycine, Within 90 minutes, you've got more glutathione in the cell. So if your and, body breaks and, it down and you want to do something to boost your body's production of glutathione, what could you do or, or eat in order to rev up that production? Been, that's been precisely the problem. It, it gets broken down in the stomach so quickly that it doesn't get well absorbed when you eat it. There are no good food sources of glutathione. It's really something that is made natively. It's like, it's, you know, if we were a country, that would be our main, you know, export. Huh. We, we make it, but, but we don't import it very well. And that's why, I'm, you know, up until now, my only recommendation for increasing glutathione was whey protein, which seems to boost it a little bit, mm -hmm. and NAC, which is a supplement you can get at any store. But Continual G does a better job, and that's why I was excited about it, because it's the first time I've ever seen any research that actually shows that there's a supplement that you can take something in a little powder, you mix it with water. It's not bad at all. I have it every day, and it boosts your glutathione stores. And I'm telling you, during this time, we need all the antioxidant support we can get, not just glutathione, not just Continual G, but more vitamin C. I don't care what they tell you, more vitamin C. Yeah, yeah. let me, let me ask you this. Are there particular foods or activities that that would increase how much it breaks down or deplete us? I mean, obviously, as you said, yeah. just sort of living, we naturally Good do question. that. But are there things that we can be avoiding that will help us to maybe slow yeah. that process? Well, a wonderful question. So all the exposure that we have to toxins and to pesticides and to all of those things definitely accelerate the process. Number two, and maybe even most importantly and most frighteningly, the thing that depletes our antioxidants, stress. Yeah. You want to eat up vitamin? I used to say to my, when the COVID thing first started out here in L.A., and everybody was hunkering down and watching CNN 24 hours a day and taking 5,000 of C, I'd say to my friends, you know what? It's great that you're taking all that vitamin C, but the 24 hours a day of CNN is eating it right up. So it ain't, getting, it ain't getting where it's supposed to go and doing what it's supposed to do. The point is stress is a huge depleter of the important vitamins. The reason yeah. why we need even more supplementation of vitamin C and vitamin E and, uh, and glutathione and all the rest of the things that we can get in there because we need all the help we can get right now. It's an emergency. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great advice. And I know where people are looking for... Um 
for for answers for the thing that they can trust that it, it's great for you to be able to give that resource of you know let's all let's look to to reduce our stress and up our vitamin c levels and uh, and, and really 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 try and eliminate as best we can right. all of these free radicals now people can find more about you more information and tips by going to johnnybowden.com